You're right lads, it's Capcom Tom here and I'm back for another episode of Road to Glory and today we're going to be super positive after our last couple of abysmal performances in the last two episodes where we barely won a game. We are going to kick things off by buying this CDM 433 guy, uh, not particularly special but I needed someone to fill in the gap in our midfield just because we, you know, we're getting a lot of fitness problems and it really is starting to become an issue. Um, with this CDM we should be able to get full chemistry because... Um, he will get really strong links to some of the players around him, which will actually give him full chemistry. Does not at the moment, but when I put um, our proper right back in, he will get full chemistry and we will have a full chemistry team. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, it's always good to know that you can get away without buying those uh, expensive um, what are they, position changes. As you can see, I'll show you there by moving him to right back and you do get full chem. So... Um, it's always good to know that you don't have to buy those expensive position cards and you can get away sometimes with just, you know, relying on the strong links around that player to get full chem. Anyway, we pop into our first game, we come up against this 4-3-3 uh, BPL team, looks pretty dangerous, I won't lie, it's got like the likes of Valencia, but we actually scored a really nice goal early on. Uh, Griezmann there doing a, what is it, toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Uh, bounce and going past his keeper and just slotting that one into the empty net early on in the game. Seven minutes in, so not too bad there. Menes then did try, well, tried to go past him, but sort of failed. Got a bit lucky with a ricochet bounce. And then Cissé was there to get up high and uh, head that one into the back of the net. So we were 2-0 up, just about to go into the half-time break. And we came out after half-time and we ended up scoring Boom Song this time, providing the goal from the corner so a very nice goal for Boomsong Cotton he's not going to get all that many before we get rid of him because he's not particularly a good player but it's always good to see them getting a goal here and there and then he gets a goal through Valencia um, bit one of those ones that you like why is the goalkeeper let that in he should have been you know doing better there near post really shouldn't be letting it go in really nice goal there by Griezmann just you know winding his way into a little knot and managing to get himself out of it and uh, score the finesse shot which was a quite a good goal bit of luck here for his player um, the ball bouncing off one of my players and Carl Walker there just absolutely hooned that one in no chance was my goalkeeper getting anywhere near that he hit that with such force that there was no chance anyway we win that one 4-2 which is a great result for us um, considering we lost a lot of games recently and um, yeah really good because it means that we've actually won the cup or won the title which is really good we have record in that league of 4-1 and 4 so not the best I mean even wins and losses but um, what can you do sometimes these things happen it does mean that we get a really nice coin bonus we've actually got a few coins to play with now um, looking at about the 9,000 mark so I decided to splash them in the uh, transfer market and go and buy Yuri Gurkov in a 4-3-3. Um, not as good as last year, just purely because he doesn't have that 5-star skills. He does, however, have 4-star weak foot and 4-star skills. So it's not too bad. I mean, it's not all lost. He does have some good passing stats, so he should be an excellent addition to our squad. There really isn't that many good um, central midfield players that are French. So I'm thinking that I might have to delve into League 1's ranks and just, you know, get some players from there. Anyway, we go into our next game. We come up against an absolutely monstrous looking team. I mean, he's got Inform Mikkeli, Di Natale, Balotelli, Perlo, Abate, Chiellini, uh, Buffon in goal. Really dangerous team. And he shows how dangerous it is early on. Chiellini getting up well from that corner and putting it away really nicely, to be honest. But it wasn't long before we got back in the game. Cissé doing some great work there. Work in the space and uh, a great shot with his left foot considering he is a right footed player. But you know that's his four star weak foot for you and he has got an absolutely monstrous shot. He really can hammer those ones in. Got a bit lucky here. Gurkov actually providing the, first, the next goal. Griezmann getting in on goal and uh, slotting that one home nicely. So I was pretty pleased with that. And uh, actually, that's how the game ended. There wasn't any like end credits I couldn't show you. But there you go. You can see the score there. 2-1. And that's actually a really good result because his team was amazing. And I absolutely hate playing against 4-3-1-2 teams. They just seem to be really a nightmare to pull apart. And also, when you get on the counter-attack, there's always three against two at the back. So, a very difficult formation to beat. Anyway, we go off and we decide to buy Sissoko, um, get him for a half decent price. The rest were going for a lot of coins. He is very fast, very strong, very tall, very black. And um, yeah, awesome, awesome player. Looking forward to using him. And you know what's happened EA have decided to troll us and not us allow us to get that freaking player out of our watch list. He's there. I just can't get him. I think we've all had this problem. So if you've had this problem, drop this video a like in agreement that EA are dirty trolls and they will pay 
for their sins one day. Anyway, um, going on, we go into our next game and we come up against this 4-5-1 Brazil team. He has Hernanes, Ronaldinho, Forlan. He has a couple of good players in there. I think that's that Mariano from Bordeaux, the really fast one. Um, but he takes the lead, annoyingly, really annoyingly. Their Hernanes, uh, you know, scoring from what was a pretty easy cross, pretty soft goal to give him, actually. And then he gets another goal as well, which is an absolute nightmare. See, crossing again. And uh, who is that? Rafinha. Not the one from uh, Bayern Munchen, but uh, the actual one from the Liga Du um, scoring. So that was quite frustrating for me. I was 2 0 down. Uh, only seven minutes left in the game. And we managed to get through Menes, but he misses. But don't worry, Flamini's there to finish that one off um, in the 84th minute. And now you're thinking, this can't happen. You can't get back into the game with so little time left. But. You can see here an absolute scramble in the box. Um, just ball going everywhere and eventually it dropped to Griezmann and Griezmann scored. And Griezmann has been one of our best players in this team by an absolute mile. He has been phenomenal for me. So I would really recommend him if you need a left wing French player or someone in La Liga if you need to make a cheapish sort of team. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I hope I came across a bit more positively because I know that I've been a bit, mm, bit down recently. That's purely because I've been recording quite late and uh, obviously when I'm tired I'm not on the top of my game. So I did this one a bit earlier and I hope that you uh, can appreciate that. So if you could drop it a like that would be amazing. Leave me some cool feedback in the comment section and uh, yeah subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all next time